Oh. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Belmont Boy. I'm still here playing Pollen for you. And uh, we just picked up a what looked like a control panel console. So we are going to try and figure out where that goes and explore the rest of this uh, increasingly creepy space station. Void. We saw that on the way over. Oh, is this a... Oh, it is. It's an audio log. Press play. Yes, ma'am. Or sir. It's been months now. Maybe almost a year. Yikes. Did I look at this before? I guess. Who is that? I guess it is December already. Hmm. The Doesn't day. say. Today I broke, broke out of the airlock. Why would you have to break out of it? Oh, we saw the jackhammer. is connected to that thing in the cave. What the heck? The plot thickens. The entity. It's capitalized, too. It's going to be important, I think. Hmm. That's sad. I hope that there was one, although... If I were a betting man, I'd say that there wasn't. Weren't. Um, or we tried messing with this. Still not doing anything. Ahaha! Here we go. And, oh, do I have to place it myself? How do I do that? Um, maybe I just hit the button. Yep, there we go. Boom. Whoa! What the hell is that thing? Holy Jesus, that's awesome! What is that floating in the corner? It's like glowing. It's like pollen. Wow! That music's a little unnerving. This is crazy. Wow, look at that. Some fire over in the corner. That's not good. Something down there. Jeez. Alright, let's get moving. Is it where? Where are we right now? Crew quarters this way. Airlock A that way. That must be where we just came from. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what this thing does. Super cool looking. Um, let's see, crew quarters must be right here. There's a nice chair. We pick up the chair. We can kick the chair. Not <laughs> nice. Um, we got like a, let's see, where can we go? So that door is open, and there's a door, there's a vent. Where should we go for it? You know, let's just go ahead and start with what's closest to us for the sake of thoroughness. Ooh, this is kind of a foreboding hallway. Hydroponics. That way. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Nice mug. Square mug. Interesting. See if it uh, breaks when we throw it. Wow, solidly constructed. Way to go, Rama Industries. What is this? Chicken flabbed up? Chicken flavor. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's gross. I don't know how good that tastes. Doesn't look like it tastes very good. Let's see, ooh, health pack. Can I take this for my inventory? Slide to detach? No, I just drop it. That's okay. Is this a uh, fire extinguisher? That's probably pretty important in a place like this. Man, so much detail and like all this stuff. It's like you can interact. Wow, look at that. You can close, shut, everything. You can like interact with everything. Interesting. What do we got here? Rubber gloves. It's uh, important to have, I'm sure. When you're dealing with space contamination and such. There's something's flashing over here. What is this? Karen Kowalski. I can rotate it around. Breathe, drink, eat, have a house, meet friends, go to work, have fun, die, go home. Okay. That's kind of strange because ostensibly some of those things that are crossed out would not be able to be crossed out if someone were stuck here, which is kind of what it seems like. What else we got? Anything else important in this room? Doesn't look like it. Whoa, hello. This looks like kind of like a rec room. We got like a nice table. Something up there. This flashlight feels like such a natural extension of like the environment, ex excuse me, exploration. Choking on my own spit, forgetting to swallow because I'm so immer- Oh, there's water. I'm stepping around in water, sloshing around. It looks strange. It doesn't really look like water. It just kind of looks like the ground is moving around. We got over here. It's like a rec room, like a gym. It's pretty cool. It's important, probably, you're in space, gotta stay fit. I don't know how the gravity on Titan compares to um, uh, our world. 
Welcome. Was that me that just grunted? Welcome. Access panel maintenance instructions. Um, nothing on the back. Oh, okay. I guess that was important. It kind of auto selects stuff that's going to get added to my inventory. Ooh, darts. Cool. Can I interact with them? Can I grab them? And does it, oh yeah, I can. Sweet. Uh, there we are. All right, cool. Let's uh see what we got. All right, I'm gonna orient it slightly. This is so sick. I kind of have to like close one eye and aim it just like I would in real life. All right, that looks to be about there. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, that was terrible. All right, let's give that one more shot with one of these. All right, here we go. Let's bring it. To bring it up. And then aim it just a little bit and then maybe put it like right there all right three two one yeah uh, that was terrible too oh well i want to get one is that so wrong i want to stick it i want to see if i can maybe if i reset my camera yeah okay there we go that helps that'll help with my aiming all right here we go third time's the charm all right adjust slightly maybe bring it down all right here we go Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, what? I threw it right at it. Well, maybe it's not supposed to stick. That would be asking a lot. Got a nice punching bag. Yeah. Boom, boom. Gotcha. This is a nice little rec room in here. I'm digging it. What's this up on the wall? Home's where the heart is. Wow. That is super cool. Look, it even gets like caught. Wow. It's like, it's really hard to describe to you guys, but this object really feels, it's like as if I could just reach out and touch it. It's very immersive. Very cool. What do we got around here? Something flashing. Got a clipboard. What was this book? Time Out of Joint, Philip K. Dick. Raggle Gum is just an ordinary guy, except he happens to win the lottery. That's pretty cool. Every week, slowly he finds out he's living in someone else's reality. All right, that's a twist. Pretty sure that's a real book. I recognize Philip K. Dick. Uh, Dear Jessica and Ethan, I got your card. It was delightful to see your faces. Yeah, I know, I can rotate stuff. I got it. Get out of my way. Tool tip. Um, oh, that's what it means. I can read it just fine. Delightful to see your faces again. I hope you're enjoying your time with Grandma. I'm here uh, at the Rings of Saturn. It's crossed out and says nowhere. That's creepy. Remember when we saw Saturn at the observatory? This is so very far from home and I miss you so much. Don't forget to play, draw, and sing. Your kids only once and you should do kid stuff. But if grandma asks for your help, I am very alone here and hope you were here. I was there with you and grandma. Everyone is gone. I see black void all around me. I made myself a new home, but it is not a home without you. Missing mom. Wow, that's sad. Took a dark turn. Maybe that's what that other clipboard was in reference to. Oh, it's a tape. Maybe that's like an audio log. Whoop, all right. Let me carry that in my inventory. Oh, look, there's a basketball hoop. Is there a ball around here anywhere? This'll do. All right, let's see, ready? One, two, three. Nah, not even close. All right. Oh, shit, okay, here we go. Another audio log. No? Nothing? Okay, maybe I can put the tape in there. Gotcha. Uh, yep, here we go. There we are. Oh, fuck it. I'm holding on to whatever keeps me even close to the That seems like a good idea. Yeah, Karen. Beyond Good and Evil, I've read that book. Don't give it up just yet. Groundbreaking work, Nietzsche's philosophical and literary powers at their height, with devastating irony and flashing, he gleefully dynam dynamites centuries of accumulated conventional wisdom in metaphysics. Wow. It's quite the claim. I'm gonna use this wonderful book to... I'll <laughs> throw over these boxes. What do we got here? Cosmonomics, huh? Enchanting stories about the evolution of the universe with characters. Oh. Uh, cellular structures, naturally, we're all these blah blah, etc. I was kind of not paying attention to that audio log. I got caught up listening to the, uh, uh, reading the books, rather. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and play that again, just for my own awareness. Remember that part. What else we got? Nice bonsai. Yeah, Karen. Kitty cat. Alright, so we're talking with Karen. I can't remember which one she was on the crew manifest. 
tired of this loop. Interesting. Maybe we got like a Groundhog Day type situation going on here. What's the cat's name? Don't know. I'm moving into the lab. Stop avoiding the thing. What thing? Interesting. Maybe that's the entity. That's what I read before. Remember, exercise. Whoa, look at that guy. He's really got some weight on there. You know, they say, if the bar ain't bending, you're just pretending. Oh, here's the ball. Alright, sweet. Let's see what we got. Alright. And... Kobe! Oh, shit. Talk about a brick. Pretty cool, though. So you got some sleeping bags. Oh, there's more pictures. Oh! That must be her daughter. Jessica. Oh, man. It's kind of messed up how they're, like, placed on these sleeping bags. As if, you know, obviously this was What's-Her-Face's attempt at, uh, kind of making her feel like the kids were there. Loving memory of Patrick Kowalski. Oh, man. Maybe that's her husband, survived by his wife, Karen. Yeah, their children, Jessica and Ethan. How sad. So that one was on this, uh... Uh, what's it called? Sleeping bag. Man, so this lady was really dealing with some shit. She had two sleeping bags set up for her kids, one for her late husband. This must be her, maybe. Let's see what her son looks like, I'm presuming. Cute kid. Oh, man. Some dark shit. Oh, here we go. Lift some weights. Hit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give this thing a nice toss. Woo! Damn! Didn't seem like it was very heavy. What about these guys? 25. How many have 25 plates? Not that bad. Alright, up we go. Uh, uh, shake it. Oh, guess not. My guy needs to hit the gym a little bit harder, I think. Why are those lit up? That's strange. Even in the darkness. Here we got some cardio. Do some cardio. Here we go. Start and stop. No? No cardio for me, I guess. That's probably for the best. I hate cardio. I don't hate cardio. I just am not that great at it, running specifically. I was a swimmer all throughout high school. And if I'm doing cardio, I vastly prefer swimming to running. Although, whoa, hello. That was strange. <laughs> it's like my positional tracking. Re wow. Reset. This is still like the beta VR of this. Whoa, okay. Chill out. All right, hold on. There we go. Whoa, that is not how that's supposed to be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very strange. My, it's like my positional tracking is freaking the fuck out. Yeah, you know, give me a second and let me see if I can fix this. All right, there, I think we got it. Oh, I think I just hit the microphone. Whoops, here, let me back up just a little bit. Maybe that'll help things. Yeah, okay, there we go. Where's my flashlight? Um, it's so funny. I like can't see how close things are in real life to where I am. You really do lose yourself. I can't like describe to you guys how immersive this is. So this was a picture taken here in this room. Base M Titan, 20 years. Oh, are they like popping off bottles? I can't tell if they're arguing or celebrating. It's kind of strange. Oh, sweet. Here's another tape. Hmm, that's right. Um, well, do I have to stand in that other room if I want to listen to it, or can I listen to it wherever? Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Alright, let's go pop that thing into the, um, what's it called, into the tape recorder, see how it goes. Whoop. Can I, is there an eject button? No? Let me just, let's see, grab this one, put it in here. Okay, here we go. Take that, put it away, grab the other one. It's kind of a... Not super intuitive system for that, but whatever. I began recording these messages, began recording these messages for the researchers. I guess I'm doing this for myself now. Yeah, it's kind of how it always ends up in games like this, isn't it? Hey! Jeez. I remember VHS tapes. 8-tracks. Oh. Why would the study library be locked? Breaking and entering, just... Huh. That doesn't seem unreasonable to me. What we got here? Probably the most sophisticated person in the solar system. Waste disposal unit. Gross. Ah, what is this? 
guide into the excrements of the space age. Most life requires consumed material to pass through a system where part of it leaves the host in the form of fecal matter. The organic waste becomes important in space environments where natural fertilizers are non-existent and require transportation from Earth. That makes sense. This book digs deep into the issue of space feces and explains how the toilets first stuck in, suck in the material, dry it up, and automatically distribute it into the hydroponic systems. Cool. Makes sense to me. Oh, oh we got another one in here. What does this one say? How to make friends and influence people in space. People's behavior can change and combine containments and great leadership skills are needed to address the needs of distant travelers. This book adds a few tips to the classic book on how to manage relationships in the 20th century. Very important as well. I can only imagine it. What time is it? It is, that is a broken clock or we are in some sort of weird time uh, loop. Time and space, 25 years of UNSA. How we stopped competing and learned to love the research. Reminds me like Dr. Strangelove, Rama Industries. Nice, more mugs, a bag full of something. Sweet. Whoa. All right, what time are we on the clock here? Check my timer. Oh, it's about that time. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and we're gonna keep exploring this crew quarters next time on Belmont Boy.